Hello everyone. Welcome to Windows Wednesday. Today we will discuss how you can protect your document within Microsoft Office. Now we all know there are so many third party application available which allow you to password protect a document and also perform some other feature. But in Microsoft Office 365 there are some built-in features that we will discuss today. Let's jump on Microsoft Office to see how we can achieve this. I have created a, a test document already and we're going to perform a protected document feature on this test document. So it can be done on, on a new document as well, it's entirely up to you how you're going to do this. So to do that, we will have to open a document within Microsoft Word environment because it's a Microsoft Office feature so it can only be done within the Microsoft Word. So once, you do, once the document is open, either it's new or existing one, you will have to click on file, then click on info under info you have an option called protect document if you click on that option you will have list of available security features that you can implement first one is always open read only as soon as you do that the document is protected uh, for accidental changes made by the recipient so it will give them an option um, when the document will be open it will appear on their screen that this document is read only and if they say yes and they will be able to um, um, amend a document but they will get a notification like this what you're seeing on your screen right now so but they have an option to change from read only to to edit uh, um, feature second option what we have is uh, protecting the document using a password uh, so once you do that it will ask you to select a password and uh, a toys uh, after that uh, if you send this document um, the recipient of this document or, or the person who will be opening this document will only be able to open this document um, using um, the password. They won't be able to open uh, the document. As you can see on the screen, I'm going to close the document, try to open again, and it will ask me um, to type the password. If I click OK, uh, typing the wrong password, it's going to give me an error message. As, as you can see, I'll try to type password and it opens. Third option is, uh, is restrict editing. So there are so many features uh, uh, are available under this option. You can limit the recipient of this document to perform certain tasks. Either you don't want them to change the heading style or change the font style or formatting of the font or anything. The long list of options are available here which you can choose and play around. Uh, you can also apply this uh, uh, restriction either on uh, one single user or everyone in your whole organization. Uh, it's entirely up to you and once you finish uh, uh, completing your changes you just click on yes start uh, this feature the fourth option we have under the protect document is um, restrict access so what this will do is this will allow you to choose certain people from your um, um, recipient list who can make changes to this document or who can read this document is entirely up to you how you want to use as you can see on your screen either you can give permission to everyone in your organization or you can pick and choose who will have access to this document or not if if i want to give myself an access i will search by using my surname and as you can i select on check name it will appear same thing goes for uh, uh, for the change as well so the fifth option uh, is to add a digital signature um, it's just like you like the way you signing the document, but it will be available as a, uh, as a Digitally on your document when you take properties of the document or either open within Microsoft Word It will tell you who signed this document last and click on mark as final So what that will do is uh, this will uh, indicate a person who's opening this document. Uh, this document is the final uh, Document there's no further changes. If you like this video give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you want me to cover any other topic, leave the comment down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye.